How did Sri Lanka's health sector collapse? The death of two women, including a pregnant mother at the Peradine Teaching Hospital after being administered an anesthetic drug, as well as the death of a 21-year-old girl while being treated for a stomach ailment, led to controversy in recent days. Another death suspected to have been caused after an antibiotic was administered was reported from the Kegol Hospital. Tests confirmed that the bupivacaine anesthetic in question, which was imported citing that it complied with the US standards, lacked an ingredient to be classified as an anesthetic. More than 20 patients who underwent surgery at the Nuadilia and National Eye Hospitals developed various complications due to the prednisolone eye drops brought from India and some patients said that the surgery left them completely visually impaired. A 21-year-old woman died after being injected with an antibiotic at the Peradine Teaching Hospital and although the inquiry team appointed to investigate the death stated to the media that there was no problem with the drug, three batches of the drug in question were withdrawn from use a few hours later. Two patients at the Candy General Hospital developed allergies after being administered with the same drug. These are just a few incidents that have been reported and confirmed by the authorities. A large number of drugs including the bupivacaine and aesthetic were imported to Sri Lanka in recent days without proper registration from the National Medicines Regulatory Authority. This anesthetic was imported to Sri Lanka via Section 109 of the National Medicines Regulatory Authority Act without NMRA registration. The NMRA conducted tests on the propofol anesthetic. Reports revealed that the anesthetic contained endotoxins and bacterial toxins. Propofol was also imported to Sri Lanka without NMRA registration. Against the backdrop where representatives of multiple health sector trade unions demand a formal investigation into these incidents, they have been issued nothing but a circular saying that details of the investigation cannot be released to the media without the consent of authorities. Issues of the health sector cannot be solved by silencing officials and the media. Can these issues in the health sector, along with other issues in the country, be solved by giving priority to narrow political agendas and interests of other countries instead of prioritizing the welfare of the people? In modern democracies, such issues have never been solved by censoring. We report, you decide. The Health Ministry Secretary has issued this circular in accordance to the existing public administration circular regarding issuing statements to the media. It was issued for all officers including provincial health secretaries, heads of institutions of the Ministry of Health, provincial directors of health services and regional service directors. Attention has been drawn to the judgment issued under Supreme Court case number SC slash FR slash 371 slash 2022 and that state officials do not have the legal right to release information to the state media without the prior permission of the department head.